Well, hello, a very good evening to you all and welcome once again to Virtual Church here on a Sunday night brought to you by our friends here at Beauty in Sound. <clears throat> what a way to start this rousing selection of hymns tonight before we get into Lent next week. We get into Ash Wednesday already on Wednesday. It's incredible to believe, isn't it, that we are already in Lent. It doesn't seem only a few days since we were celebrating Christmas and Epiphany and Candle Mass. And now we're going to go into Lent. What's going on? <laughs> anyway, so we need to make the most of it, don't we? Uh, the first hymn, as you, will, as you all identified, is it was angel voices ever singing round thy throne of light. Uh, requested uh, by John. John says, um, hopefully a rousing enough start. Angel voices ever singing round thy throne of light for tune um, um, Angel Voices by Monk. So there we go. Let's get on then. Thank you very much, John, for your request. Let's get into um, a, a, one of the one of the most popular, favourite, most beautiful, um, everything. This ticks all the boxes. Um, this is one of the greatest hymns in the world, undoubtedly. Give me a quick thumbs up if you think that this hymn is one of the greatest hymns in the world ever written. It's, Dear Lord and Father of Mankind, forgive our foolish ways. And it has been requested uh, by James Mossop. So let's have a go.
I saw a lot of thumbs up, which is a good sign. Uh, I, the question was quite simply, is this one of the greatest hymns ever written? And of course the answer is that one. Yes it is. It might not be the greatest, I think that's very subjective, but it's undoubtedly, factually, one of, one of the greatest hymns. And I know that because it gets requested so many times um, on virtual church. It always gets a good response. So, thank you very much, uh, James, for requesting that. Okay, so the next hymn that we have um, up our sleeves tonight is one that comes in from Daniel Kubaki. Christ whose glory fills the skies. Now, Daniel, I'm just actually wondering whether um, I've done you a disservice here. I might not have it ready. Christ whose glory. I think I assumed it would be on the iPad because it's a it's a, um, a popular a popular doodar, isn't it? A popular tune, popular hymn. I don't think it's, it's not on the iPad. Let's see if I can get it in the common praise. Christ whose glory fills the skies. Um, now, unfortunately, it's not the correct tune, Danny boy. That is normally the tune we have. Uh, English and... Uh, Daniel, I'm going to actually play the, another tune to the one that you've requested. This is called um, Ratty's Bon. This is, a, this is a very well known tune here in England. Uh, so I know the English people watching will know this tune and know these words extremely well. Uh, over in America, I don't know, it would be very interesting to see um, what the response is actually. You, um, you Americans, you Canadians, wherever you are in the world, you Europeans, people in the Netherlands, or Haas, one, two, three. Um, is this a well-known tune? Let me know, thumbs up, thumbs down. I knew that this tune would be a little bit of a, um, a mixed bag in terms of its response. Gregory Wonders uh, says, know the tune well, but Jim Castanet said, it's new to me. Uh, it's very well known over here. Uh, Ian Johnson says, nice tune, unfamiliar, but nice. Uh, Roger Kingston says, don't know this one at all. Well, let's have a quick um, 
a quick sort of um, response to that. So if you're in, if you are in, I don't know how to do it. How do we do this? Uh, if you are in England, no. No, I don't know how to do it. I can't work, I, I can't, there's not enough. I need, there's lots of variables to the question. I want to know, I want to know where is this tune popular and which country is it popular? I, I'm sure it's popular in this country. I'm, I'm sure it is, I'm not, I'm not going mad, I'm not. Well, I am. Let's, let's, let's not. Let's make no bones about that. I am going mad, um, but that's why you keep coming back, isn't it? So, Daniel, thank you for that. Peter O. <laughs> that's all. That's all he's put. Peter O. Um, has requested, "O Christ, the Lord. O Christ, the King. Where is it? O Christ, the Lord. O Christ, the King." To the tune "Farm Borough" uh, by Arthur Worrell. O Christ the Lord, O Christ the King, who wide the gates of death didst fling. Fling wide the gates from the stain of crucifixion. It's a wonderful moment, isn't it? Um, okay, so let's have a go. So yes, the text is on the screen. So the text, um, if, if you're chatting, um, it, it's on the screen now. It's only on the screen whilst I'm talking to you because this is like the, the interactive bit, isn't it? So people watching back on catch up can hear me talking and also can see me responding to what you're saying on the screen. I think it's a, I think it's a rather nifty idea, actually. Uh, so it's, it's only on this screen. I can see, looking at the, the live, the, 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 the preview, I can see that um, they're chatting about Jean Balfour. Someone says, we sing it in the ELCA. <laughs> Gregory Wonder says that. Uh, Jill AB says, I know it, and I'm in England. I can see that on the screen. So people watching back on the catch up can hear me waffling on and see to whom I'm responding. Anyway, so Peter O, are you in Peter O? David, it's not, it is nifty. It is not useless, my friend. It's nifty grifty. Hey Brady, how are you doing? <laughs> it also means whatever you type now goes on the screen. So be careful, <laughs> be careful. We have spanners, we have moderators, don't be naughty. <laughs> Oswald says it's very familiar in the Caribbean. Fantastic. Okay, well, let's have a go at this next, this next tune. Let's, let me know if this is familiar <clears throat> or not. Interestingly, it says the alternative tune is Melita. I want to know, do we need an alternative tune to these words? Again, the tune is called Farmbra. Let me know if you know it.
I personally agree with quite a few people who say that it's a really strong tune. Who was it who said it was a very strong tune? I think that's a very good way of um, describing that tune. It's called Farmbra, Farmbra. Uh, it's by Arthur Worrell. I didn't know it particularly. I, I know it because I've played it before here in VC. Um, but as Adam says, it's, um, it's new to me, but love it. I, I think that's a great tune as well. That's a really great tune. The words by R.T. Brooks, uh, four verses there. So thank you very much, Peter O, for requesting that. I, I, I wish I knew more about you, Peter O. What is, what is your surname? Are you in with the chat or are you slightly um, a viewer who watches back on catch up? So let's now have um, this, this next hymn we used to have a lot. Literally felt like every week back in the days of, in the, you know, the unfathomable year of 2020 uh, and a bit of 2021 when a lot of people quite literally couldn't go to church. Uh, they were stuck at home and they were stuck watching me. <laughs> I'm very grateful for that. Uh, but they had no one else to watch, so they thought I might as well watch that McVeigh chap. And this hymn used to come around a lot. It hasn't come around quite so often actually recently, so I've popped it in just to remind you of it. And when I went to Gloucester Cathedral to record the organ there um, in 2021, I played this organ Play this, sorry, this, play this hymn on that organ because I knew you'd like it. And it's for all the saints who from their labours rest, all who by faith before the world confessed. Your name, O Jesus, be forever blessed. Hallelujah. The tune is called uh, Sine Nomine and it's by uh, Rafe Vaughan Williams. Gregory Potter, he says, we are very, we are grateful to you, Richard. Well, Gregory, let me say, I am grateful to you, Gregory. I am grateful to everyone who watches. I'm grateful to everyone who comes back. I'm grateful to all 267 people watching right now. I am very grateful to you all. Let's have a go at this one. For all the saints who from their labours rest. Let's get all the stops out. Let's pull out the stops. Brady Kilman, you can use that emoji and you know which emoji I mean, don't you? <laughs> Let's go.
<laughs> I knew you'd like that. That was good. That's for all the saints who from their labours rest. What a wonderful hymn that is. A great hymn for uh, a procession. It's quite a long hymn. I've got a feeling actually in this particular version, I don't know where uh, it comes from, but I've got a feeling there were some verses missing. How many verses are there? Are there, are there normally seven verses? There are only six on here. I've got a feeling there were at least seven. Somebody confirm. Thank you very much for, I, I saw quite a few colours flashing up on the screen during that, Richard Allegra. Um, thank you for your request. Uh, Robert Solarski, thank you for your um, generous donation. He says he loves this hymn, wish it wasn't a funeral hymn. Oh, hang on. Do you mean this one or do you mean the one before? Oh, the one before, I, 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 I bet. Uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe this one. But rather considered a joyous processional. I've never really thought about this as a funeral hymn. Is it? I, um, oh, bless communion. We struggle. I'll have to have. I'll have to think about that. Verse four: the golden evening brightens in the west. Soon, um, uh, to the faithful warriors come their rest. Ah, sweet is the calm of paradise. They're blessed. Hallelujah. Yes, that that is indeed. I've never. It's never crossed my mind actually that this hymn could be associated with that. Robert, thank you very much. Um, Eleanor, you've donated uh, twice, actually. Thank you very much. And <laughs> Robert says, maybe just use as a funeral tune in my part of the world. Well, it, it, that funeral can be an uplifting experience if, it, if it's a celebration of life, isn't it? You know, if it's a, a life well lived, it's a celebration. It's a bit different if it's someone taken prematurely, of course, but if it's you know, a, a, a life of great age, then it's definitely um, a celebration of life, remembering all the positives that that person has brought. So you could have huge hymns, and you should at a funeral, because it's it, it's to remember all the good times that that person has brought and how they've changed your life. Because every everybody changes someone's life somehow, and I've changed all your lives, but you changed my life, because I wouldn't be here without you. <laughs> and, and you wouldn't be listen, watching your screen without me. It's, you know, it's just, the way the world works is extraordinary, isn't it? So James Mossop is, uh, is up next, again. <laughs> um, and yes, he has, he has requested, and I will happily play this. He requested uh, something that I played last night. So last night, uh, I played a recital um, consisting of uh, well-known organ transcriptions. Uh, and this was one of them. It was the Charpentier, uh, the Te Deum. This is the prelude from the Te Deum. The prelude is the first movement of this uh, piece, which lasts about half an hour or so. It's the most well known, of course, um, and it's been requested by James as I played it last night. So if you haven't watched the recital from last night, I would love it if you did. I had a live audience. Somebody was in the VIP seat last night. It was very nice to have an audience member from the community in here with me.
Well, thank you very much, James, for um, requesting it. And thank you for sponsoring it as well. That's very generous of you. Thank you very much also to uh, Bill, who has just gifted five uh, channel memberships. So we've got a few new channel members now. Alas, uh, William uh, Vita, uh, Zbros, Nombros, <laughs> Nathan, thank you very much for, well, hopefully staying as a channel member after your month is up because it only lasts for a month and it's up to you to um, renew it or not. <laughs> Hopefully you will. <laughs> um, right, James, was that okay? I hope so. Okay, let's go into a request that's coming from Brady uh, Kilman now. Brady loves these emojis um, louder, louder, louder. Gets to a point where, Brady, I can't go any louder. All the reeds are pulled out. It won't go any louder. But I love the enthusiasm. So keep it going, Brady. You keep you keep doing it. How firm a foundation? Where is it? Where is it? Um, there it is. How firm a foundation, ye saints of the Lord, is laid for your faith in God's excellent word. What more can be said than to you, God hath said, to you who for refuge to Jesus have fled. The tune is called Foundation. And this particular hymn book says the following. It seems odd now to think of singing this text to Adeste Fidelez, O come all ye faithful, but main line, but main line churches did so well into the 20th century because of a cultural bias against shape note music. The vigour of the present tune seems especially right for the final line's reference to Hebrews uh, chapter 13, verse 5. I did also see a, a purple. Janet, Janet Taylor says, We're not great chatters, but we're always here and so enjoy it. A brilliant recital yesterday. Thank you. Thank you. How about a battle hymn of the Republic with all Richard embellishments? That's, that sounds tempting. Trevor and Jan. Have, has Josh, have we written that down? Yes, we have. Josh Palmer um, is, so Josh, Josh Palmer. <laughs> so I have James and Josh, which is confusing. Josh Wilson, James Palmer. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so, sorry, uh, Josh Palmer. Oh dear. <laughs> um, now I'll stop messing around now. Josh Wilson is my um, producer tonight and he's keeping a track of things. It's a shame it's not controlling what I'm saying. I'm just, I'm just not in, quite in control of this tonight. He, he has made a note of that. So yes, uh, Janet, we'll get round to that very soon. Brady, have firm foundation, ye saints of the Lord. I don't think this is a particularly loud hymn, though, is it? Actually, ironically, Brady. I think this is a more of a refined hymn, perhaps. I'm happy to be, I'm happy to be told otherwise. But I think this is a more of a, more of a. Um, a reflective hymn. Is that right? Josh and James Palmer Wilson, <laughs> says James. <laughs> I agree.
how was that? Was that okay? <clears throat> it's not a hymn that I've ever had to accompany live. I mean, I'm playing it live now, of course, but I mean live um, on a pipe organ where there are actual people singing to me, with me, to me. Um, so I probably wouldn't play that loud in real life. But I'll play that for Gregory because I know he likes it loud. <laughs> yeah, Gregory, thank you for putting your emojis. I'm sorry it doesn't seem to work on the chat on the screen. It just comes up with the odd, what do you call it? Um, but people watching back and catch up will be able to see the actual emoji. I'll have to have a look at that, see if I can get that fixed. That's a bit annoying, isn't it? Okay, let's go into um, a request that I popped in, actually. Hail to the Lord's anointed. These hymns are quite rousing, aren't they? Do you all feel... I have to be careful when I ask you this, okay? Because I have to consider that YouTube might... YouTube... Um, what, what YouTube does is it actually listens to everything that is said in a live stream. And if there's anything raunchy or racy or a bit off, a bit off colour, it might consider the video inappropriate for monetization. <laughs> so I have to be careful when I ask you this. Now, YouTube algorithm, YouTube AI, this is meant in a very honest and sincere way, not in the way that you might think. Okay, so the title of this virtual church is um, Rousing Hymns for the Final Sunday Before Lent, or something like that anyway. Rousing Hymns. Do you feel aroused? By these hymns? By these hymns? I would say, do you feel aroused by this organ? But that that was definitely going to get me demonetized now, isn't it? <laughs> I hope you feel uplifted. There we go. How's that? Is that better? Do you feel uplifted? <laughs> Hail to the Lord's anointed. The tune is Kruger. Um, and five verses. Four verses. Four verses. We'll have four verses. <laughs> Richard says, don't say it. <laughs> Lol. Too late. Come out. <laughs>
Is that a well-known tune to people? Is that well-known? Kruger, hail to the Lord's anointed, great David's greater son. Hail in the time appointed, his reign on earth begun. Roger Kingston says, he's got a special piston button to print off new pages. I wish that was true. Andrew Patton says, George Guest would often choose this hymn for Advent procession at New College Oxford in the 1990s. That's interesting. I thought, and I thought George Guest was at St John's College, Cambridge. Do you mean Edward Higginbottom at New College, Oxford? But yeah, it's a good, it very, it absolutely is a good processional hymn, that isn't it? Sarah asks, what is the difference between Doodle Lounge and Hauptwerk? I can answer that question for you, Sarah. <clears throat> The organ is powered by a computer. On the computer sits a software application called Hauptwerk. You load up Hauptwerk on the computer, and once it's loaded, you have, um, if you've bought them, a whole bunch of organs from which to choose. You can go anywhere in the world. You can load a German organ, you can load a French organ, you can load an English organ, you can load an American organ, and you can load Doodle Launch. So you need Hauptwerk to be able to run Doodle Launch. It's as simple as that. It's like running Microsoft Word on Windows. Like you need one to control the other, if you see what I mean. Okay, so let's now go into Take the um, volume down. You wouldn't say this was rousing. You might say it's rousing. I wouldn't call this a rousing hymn, but I would call this a very reflective, beautiful hymn. And I would associate this one with times of remembrance. So, um, remembrance time, for example, funerals. Yes, we've had this at funerals a lot. It can be uplifting. The words are, God be in my head and in my understanding. God be in mine eyes and in my looking. God be in my mouth and in my speaking. God be in my heart and in my thinking. God be at mine end and at my departing. So basically, we're asking him to be in us everywhere, through and through. It's the wonderful setting by um, Henry Walford Davies, and more importantly, um, it's been requested by PGM Music, who I think is in the chat. I have seen, I imagined that. I think I've seen PGM Music before, chatting away, perhaps. Oh. So let's take this right down. Let's have some mutations on the choir. Those are my favorite. In fact, no, let's have the mutations on the great, because they are nice, actually. Accompanied by the flutes on the choir and the swell. No, let's take off that, let's have the clarinet. Okay, I'll make up my mind eventually.
video, isn't that beautiful? Thank you very much, Jerry Martin, for donating just now. That's very kind of you. I um, had quite a few requests tonight. That's always wonderful, always really reassuring to me that people are still interested in virtual church. I always go to bed thinking, phew, <laughs> there, is a, there is an audience out there. Uh, PGM Music, that was uh, for you. You don't give me any reason why, or maybe you did on an email, but if, if that was, um, if, you want, if, like, if you'd like to share with the, with the audience why you chose that, um, please do, because um, it's, it's a very poignant uh, t text, poem. Poem is the right word? No, I'm not. Passage, I suppose. And the music is equally beautiful. They just go hand in hand so nicely together. Someone, uh, Chip Spells did write John Rutter. There is a beautiful arrangement of the same text by Rutter, but this version was, is the Henry Walford Davis version. And the Rutter version actually is a, it's a little bit more elaborate, but it's equally beautiful. But I think there's something about the simplicity of this one that makes it so powerful, I guess. You, you know, there's something, this, this is quite a niche thing, but there's, um, They shall not. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. By Douglas Guest. Very po powerful words. Very simple music. Often, when that's the case, um, it just makes it so much more powerful. This, to me, anyway. Okay, let's just have something um, which was appropriate for the season that we've just come out. Well, so, oh, yeah, we have come out of it because we've gone, gone through candle mass. Uh, this this is a, a wonderful hymn for Epiphany. Um, it's how bright, uh, how brightly shines the morning star. Hello. How's it going? How are you? Nice Hi. green cardigan. No hey, thanks. All right. It's all right. It's, I'm just about to play this um, this here um, hymn. Are we in the pre-request at the moment still? Of course we are. We've only been going for. 54 minutes. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm still in the um, in the weeds of the pre-requests at the, the minute. Weeds. But we've got quite a few um, requests, live requests to get through later on, which will be a hoot. So let's let's have a go at this one now.
can't go wrong, can you, with a bit of um, a bit of that? Now, um, oh, hello, hello. Did your uh, microphone? Now up? there was an. In I think so. There was an interesting comment as you played that. Well, the one with the dragon. I saw the emoji dragon. No, DCT online said. Yeah. I think it was DCT, our friend in Australia, who said, "Oh, Packabell's done an amazing choral arrangement of this." I thought it was. Well, maybe has Packabell done one as well? Because I was thinking has. of. Um, Mendelssohn. Well, yeah, Mendelssohn's done one. And then, obviously, the famous um, Cordelius, Three Kings. Oh, Three Kings, yeah. Cordelius is the one I'm thinking of that's really famous. But yes, right. Mendelssohn's done one too. Yeah. Has Packabell done one too? Everyone has. I don't know about Packabell's, I don't know. You should arrange one, Richard. Mendelssohn's is um, when Jesus the Lord was born in Bethlehem, in the land yeah. of Judea. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I don't know the Packabell one. <laughs> Right. Anyway, <laughs> you're taking me off. The <laughs> Listen, Sarah says she likes my singing voice. So there you go, Sarah. You've had half a note of it tonight. <laughs> Books we, to who? We need to. Yeah, well, I've played that one. I, that, that's yeah. I did that one last? I haven't done it this year. But I did it last year. We have a request that came in from Clay um, Seibert or Siebert, who says about this hymn: "It's Father, we love you. We worship and adore you." Glorify thy name in all the earth. And he says, I just believe this is a beautiful piece that you can do great justice to. Fingers crossed. I have always started it softly, building throughout the verses and chorus. After the final verse and chorus are played, I typically repeat the last two lines of the chorus building to full organ well clay i don't know whether i can uh, match your abilities there but one thing that this particular organ does do and does do very well is loud so it also does soft very well as well and people often say they haven't for a while People often say, can't hear the organ, can't hear the organ. That's because it, it does soft very nicely. So <laughs> as Clay has suggested, we will start it soft and then we will, I'll try to take it up to full organ. It's quite a short hymn, so there's a quite a long way to go in that, um, in that time. So I'll see what I can do. Oh, you're good at that sort of thing. Well, that's very kind of you to say, thank you. No crescendo but, pedals here. But absolutely not. No. <laughs> Let's. Um, I feel like I'm on the spot now. Let's see how much of a crescendo that I can do with this.
There we go. At least I managed to get a full organ. <laughs> I, I actually took it slightly under tempo simply because there might not have been time to get a full organ if I played it at a slightly faster tempo. So it was a little bit, little bit held on to in terms of the tempo. So I think it was gave me time to just elaborate a bit more. <laughs> okay. I feel, I feel like I should apologise for my, what I'm wearing on my legs today here. Can you see I'm really, really smart for VC. Hugo chose them. Hugo, yeah, Hugo asked that, me to put my pyjamas on with like the red get, buses. You like to get dressed up, don't you? It's, 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 <laughs> good, to, it's good to see that you take it seriously. <laughs> <laughs> I suddenly realised you can see my legs. Hugo up, chose them. Rock up in your pyjamas. Yeah. Okay. I'm sure everyone else is in their pyjamas. Hands up, thumbs up if you're in your pyjamas. Make Caroline feel more at home. <laughs> right, so we need to go into... Um, now Bill Reti has emailed me uh, um, a, a high quality scan, which I th thought I'd put it onto my iPad. I have, but it's there, that's fine. So, there is beauty all around when there's love at home. There is joy in every sound when there's love at home. Peace and plenty here abide, smiling sweet on every side. Time doth softly, sweetly glide when there's love at home. There is, comes in from Bill who says, my late parents' 76th wedding anniversary is Shrove Tuesday this year. They had 71 years together. Um, and there was always... 71 years together? Yeah, and they're married for wow. 76 years. Yeah? And there was always love at home. That's very sweet. And that's very, very good to hear. So for Bill Rati, when there's love at home.
as Roger Kingston has just said, it's a perfect tribute for Valentine's Day week. Couldn't agree more with that. Uh, Bill, that um, is a wonderful thought that your parents were married for 76 years and they were together for 71 years. That's astonishing. That is definitely, if, if I may say so, that is definitely um, worth celebrating, isn't it? That's a, that is a celebration. Your parents are very fortunate and you're very for fortunate to have parents like that. And a very good idea to have that, I think, on Valentine's week which ironically is on Ash Wednesday this year. Hmm, there we go. So actually, we now, um, Ship's Bells, are you in? Because I know you'll like this one. Uh, we, that brings us to the close of um, the pre-requested hymns, which will now take us into the live requests. Haven't really got time for a top five tonight, so we're gonna go straight into the live requests. Thoughts of Ferrari says, I'm in slow motion. No, that's just how I talk. That's how I move. I do everything very slowly. <laughs> God of Grace. This is a, um, a, 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 a sort of a, an arrangement, if you like. It's um, a bit of a, a fanfare on um, Guide Me, O Thou Great Redeemer, to the tune, Oh Hello. Not to the tune, Oh Hello, it's to the tune, Cumrontha but a little fairy creature has just, just arrived. There she is, look. You behave yourself. I need to play some music. It's by Paul Manns. It's called God of Grace. And it has been requested by Bill Rayty, who says um, that he heard me play this on the Harlem sample set, which is, you can't quite see it because it's quite dark, but it's that organ there, <laughs> Harlem in Sorry, it's the, the Mueller organ in the uh, St. Bobo Kirk in Harlem, which is in the Netherlands. I was there only a few months ago playing that uh, astonishing organ. Okay, so was Hugo. Let's, let's have a go. It's very short. Hugo um, wasn't playing. No, he but was he, was, in the he was spectating um, rather vocally, wasn't he? <laughs> As Brady has just said, God of grace and God of glory. You'll recognise the, um, the tune. Okay, when, when I when it when it when it when it drops, as they say.
so that was God of Grace and God of Mercy, arranged for for organ uh, by Paul Nans. It's the tune Cum Ronta, or words, if you're in this country, you might know them as Guide Me, O Thou Great Redeemer. Andrew Patton says, Rule Britannia meets Cum Ronta. <laughs> Yes, well, I can see. Yeah, I can see. It's quite short. It's, because quite short. The only problem with it is, it, is it's quite short. And if you played it as a as a voluntary, it just might not be long enough for ev for the uh, clergy and the choir to have gotten out. So you'd have to go into something else. Depends how big your church is. Well, you're like, thinking everybody's church is the size of Romsey Abbey. Well, I'm just saying, it's somewhere like Romsey, it it wouldn't be long enough. Okay, so actually, Benjamin, you are in the chat, Benjamin Yao, and you are uh, just making sure that we got your request. Well, I do. What time is it, Benjamin? Is it the early hours of it's the morning? It's right here. So... For you? Is it the early um, hours? He oh. said, well, about an hour ago, he said it was 4 a.m. I thought it was, yeah. <laughs> so, wow. Uh, That's uh, dedication to the cause. So, um, I, uh, uh, it's, it's an arrangement that Benjamin has done himself of, um, of a, uh, it's a, it's a Chinese tune. Um, Dadi Hu and um, Hui Chun, um, which I think translates to Spring Returns to Earth. And he says it's another little ditty for the Chinese New Year. Oh, yes, the Year of the Dragon. And he's, Benjamin says today, the, the 11th of February, is the second day of the Chinese Lunar New Year. It's the Year of the Dragon, don't you know? <laughs> it's meant to be an auspicious year to be born, the Year of the Dragon. Ooh. It is. It's meant to be special for those people. And as per Benjamin Yao typical fashion, hereby sending an arrangement of a little ditty for the occasion. So this is um, a tune that will be well known to Benjamin, um, and he's arranged it himself. So I'll try to play it. I've not I've not had a chance to look at it, Benjamin. So I am sorry. Um, but we'll see what we can do with it. Hopefully, play it correctly. That always helps, doesn't it? If you play something correctly. Okay, let's have a let's have a little tinkle of this. So, where, how shall I do it? I don't know. Okay, well, we'll see.
A valiant attempt. A valiant attempt. Just, I'm, I, I'll take that. Thank you very much. So two things occurred to me while you were playing that. Only two. I don't want to offend anyone, but do you not think it sounds a bit like Frosty the Snowman was a very happy, whatever it is. Snowman. Do, 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 do. That little motif reminded me of Frosty the yeah. Snowman. Well, and then the next thing that occurred to me is I that. looked up, I looked up our birth years, which year, which Chinese year <laughs> were we in, which animal. So you, Richard McVeigh, me? you were the year of the boar. You're the boar? Bo you're born in the year of the boar. What, as in... The wild boar, a pig. The people who are a boar, isn't you're a right boar, you are. No, B O A R, the pig. Oh, the, the boar, oh, okay. the I don't mind sign that. I don't mind that sort of boar, I'm not a boring and person. I was born in the year of the ox. <laughs> ox. So I'm as strong as an ox, and you're, well, that, a, you're a boar. Well, <laughs> legend has it that you can deck a cow. <laughs> yeah, so. I can, I can. <laughs> Give me a long rope, I can put a cow on the floor, no trouble. Well. <laughs> Well, there we go. Well, let's you have get to learn when you're at vet school. Now into the um, let's get now into the live requests. So I'm going to start uh, by playing one that springs to mind, uh, which comes in from Janet Taylor, who very generously donated uh, fifty pounds. Uh, who says um, we're not great chatters, but we're always here and really enjoy it. Um, really enjoyed the recital yesterday. Thank you very much. How about, and here comes the request, um, Battle Hymn of the Republic with all of my embellishments. Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. He is trampling out the vintage where, where the grapes of wrath are stored. Yes, this is a great hymn. Uh, let's have a go at this one. Matt Leach Music simply says, I'm a rooster. Yeah, he was here. <laughs>
What have you started now? You've started all well, this. People have been volunteering their, their, their Chinese year. It's rather yeah, good. Well, people are saying, Matt Leach, my girlfriend is a monkey. And Benjamin so, Yao so said, rude. taken out of context, that would be problematic. Well, uh, Benjamin Yao's a dog. Uh, Matt a Leach is a, uh, a. a Riley rabbit. Matt Leach, I'm a rooster. What, what, Bobby how, Tiger. I, I have to excuse my ignorance, uh, Benjamin, but how many animals... Is it every, is it every year? Has not every year that we... Every uh, Western year? Uh, or is it... Well, what, yeah, how often yes, is your New Year? Yes, and, but it's right. just that their New Year is in February. So what happens... So it's not January when, to January like ours. When... This is a genuine question. I think he knows what I'm going to ask. How many animals are there? Twelve animals. Okay. So it's not an infinite amount of animals going back to thousands of years ago. Because I was going to ask, what happens when you run out of animals? You go through different no, breeds of spider. Think, or there something. are twelve animals. So yeah. Look. Well, that's that's the answer then. <clears throat> I should have known that, but I didn't know that. But no, no, no question is a stupid question. I think <laughs> that's what I was. No, not at all. I didn't I know the exact really. number actually. Okay, so let's go on. Uh, then that was a uh, that's arousing him, isn't it? My eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. Played, I think, at a the, the correct tempo. It shouldn't it was, be faster than that. It was it, rather fact, loud actually, in here. I know it does get loud in here. I think it should possibly that is the maximum tempo it should be at, because there are a lot of words to get around your your mouth around. My eyes have seen the glory, glory, glory of the coming of the yeah. Look, back in the olden days, it was. They, they were like dominating the football, weren't they? But <coughs> they don't anymore. They, what are they like, second or third division now? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know either. They used to be <laughs> the top of the top. But yeah, I'm not sure they sing that anymore. I think actually everyone around the world will know who Man United are. I was just about to say, oh, you wouldn't know who Man United are if you're from Malaysia, but actually, of course, you would. Everyone who knows who Man United are. Of course, yeah. famous, the most famous football team in the world. Exactly. Um, well, they used to be. They're probably famous now for not being as good as they used to be. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's go into a request have which the just mighty uh, fallen. A request which I've just seen on the screen now. It's just come in from Adam. Hi, Adam. Um, your Adam, he's your, played your this piece, organ. Your piece, by the way, in the uh, upcoming uh, organ book looks spot on. It looks gorgeous. Because um, you because you typeset it. Well, yeah. <laughs> But it's a it's a it's um it's a great addition to 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 um to have in the book Adam's piece and I played it out in the wild as it were Ooh, many times. Dog is a dragon. <laughs> oh dear! <laughs> right. Be thou my Craig vision, is a bull. O Lord of my heart. Ian Be is all a sheep. else but naught to me, save that thou art. See this thing here? It's moving. And sound is coming out of it. That means only one person talks into an open microphone at the same time. <laughs> Bad form. Oh, nice, nice emoji, Doug. Uh, I'm going to crack on before it gets out of hand.
there's two harmony versions there are, so I said two versions of the harmony. The one that was printed was the one that you may not have known. Um, although the one, the, the more familiar one um, is uh, widely sung in this country. Or most, I think all of the hymn books have, have you know, this one. <laughs> particular scan it's a bit different but I just can't play this tune and not have the harmony that I know and love and I know Adam because uh, I know Adam's English and is from all the way up north that's the correct harmony isn't it Adam <laughs> so be thou be thou my vision um, that's an Irish it's an Irish tune right let's go into another request which comes in Eleanor from Jean Ele Eleanor Jean yeah She's actually requested two tonight. This is the first, well, it's actually the second of her two requests. Okay. The other one we will play shortly. But this one, There is a Redeemer. I'm trying to find it. I can't find it. There is a Redeemer, Jesus, God's own son, precious Lamb of God, Messiah, Holy One. It might be the rolling pear look. Well, there's not much she's, of a request there, is she's there? A, Yeah, but Josh has paired it up expertly with the text, so I reckon <laughs> if the rolling pear is, okay. is code for There is a Redeemer. Well, let's crack on with There is a Redeemer then. How does this one go? Thank you, my father. Oh, yes, I know this one. I know this one. Which is good. It helps. This is how it goes. I'm sure you'll know it as well. Thank you very much, Eleanor, for requesting that beautiful tune. A quick, I'm going to interrupt you very quickly to say best wishes to Tim no, no Van Elderen there. because his university term starts again tomorrow. So mm. all the best, Tim. Good luck. After half term? Uh, maybe after Christmas. Maybe they have short terms in the Netherlands. Wow. I don't know. Okay. Well, I'm yeah, sure. I hope it goes well, Tim. All the best. So the next one that comes in is from uh, Richard Allegra. It can't be after Christmas. Surely they've been back. 
Well, that's, about, that's why I was asking. And why is he Tim, just, you just can tell us, back? when did your last term finish? Um, Richard says, um, Ophelia, Ophelia, Ophelia et filie, um, so we can say goodbye to Alleluia, to the word Alleluia. This has a lot of Alleluia in it. In fact, the, the refrain or the antiphon is simply Alleluia. Oh, look at Philip Scott. He's put three fire engines, or, or he's put three emergency vehicles in the chat for Hugo. Hey, Hugo would love that, Philip. Thanks for doing that. I told them that Hugo has four fire engines. He's got at least four, and about four ambulances. How many police cars has he got? He's lost one of those police cars. <laughs> it's probably behind the console. It's, well, it's You'll not, probably I, find it when Colin comes I next. was round there just recently, wasn't I? It's probably under just the swell pedal. Not in there. I don't know where it's gone. <laughs> I've had it for a long time. Um, okay, so... This is the, an Easter hymn, isn't it? Absolutely. Uh, Getting all your alleluias out of your system. <laughs> Who's going to yeah, make pancakes okay. on Tuesday? Shrove Tuesday. My diet day on Tuesday. Oh, come on, Richard. It's pancake day. That's my fasting day. Ah, oh, nonsense. <laughs> nonsense. That's how, that's how diets work. You can't just <laughs> eat pancakes that's and That's why I think diet. it's nonsense. <laughs> well, I know it is, but it needs must, I'm afraid. <laughs> Tired.
it's a great um a great tune and i can just imagine that one being sung in my head in a big french cathedral procession in latin or in french lots of incense everywhere and it is easter day and just imagine the organ just going absolutely crazy so thank you very much um richard Allegra for uh, requesting um, a hymn that from next week is basically forbidden. So it's good to get it out of our so, system. So, we had some musical weevils in the house, <laughs> talking of flower mites. We had some, I couldn't believe it. Little, little critters crawling around in the flower and the baking powder. I don't know what they wanted to do in the baking powder, but they were obviously very musical. Well, who doesn't want to, to be in the baking powder? To, they wanted to live next door to the BIS organ, obviously. They had great taste. In organ music, these weevils. They're obviously very, um, obviously, the, <laughs> very the cultured. They were cu cultured, make, very in the baking, after the, yeah, into the baking powder. So, this is Eleanor Jean's second request. There we go. Look, so she sent you the rolling pear, and she also said, please play God of Our Fathers. And as you know, a, a large chunk of the congregation adore this hymn, they? and they also adore the fanfare, isn't ah. it? Which you love playing. So, Oh, he's pulled out the tube and marbles, everyone. <laughs> well, how, how do you know what that's for? How do you know what that's the for? The fanfares, could, of course. That could be for anything. Well, I just have a feeling. I just have a feeling. I've got a feeling. Oh, he's got that, that clarion and trumpet. That's pretty loud division, isn't it? That. So, yeah. He's God got all the loud ones God on, of anyway. our fathers. Here we go.
Cool. Next up, Gregory Wonders has requested. L no, sorry, I've got the wrong. How good, Lord, to be here. A good hymn for today's lessons. How good, Lord, to be here, as you've just said. Your glory fills the night. Your face and garments, like the sun, shine with unborrowed light. It's called Potsdam. The words by Joseph Robinson. And I think we can probably actually just use some of the softer stops. That's lucky because my ears are ringing. Well, it's a it's a very exciting organ. This one, isn't it? It is. <laughs> Jennifer Owen says, "Not me." However, we'll go to a church that has pancake supper. Just talking about pancakes, I see. And weevils. So Tuesday is my fasting day, so I can't really enjoy the. Um... Oh come on! Just fast on Ash Wednesday. Well, no, you you're have... conducting a big service How on Wednesday, aren't you? How long so... do pancakes last for? You want to eat them fresh while they're hot. Is it, so it wouldn't, they wouldn't be fresh on Wednesday then? No, that's not the point anyway. You don't, you don't have pancakes on Ash Wednesday, do you? What about if I had it at one minute past 12 on Tuesday night? It's still Lent, isn't it? Bad luck. Better luck next year. Well, hopefully by next year I shall be needing to go on a fasting diet. We'll see. Let's see if uh, it, these, this fasting pays dividends. <laughs> I think it's a nonsense. Or takes venue. dividends. <clears throat> I think it's a nonsense. No, I, don't, I don't. I think it's good. Anybody else on the diet? Anybody else on the 5 2 diet? Let's see, let's see, if, let's Bobby let's see is. if anyone in the chat is in Bobby's the, um... on a seafood diet. Well, yes. I know. She, <laughs> she seafoods and eats it. That's her problem. That's why we call her Bob the Blob. Really beautiful tune by, oh, requested by Gregory Wonders, who says it's a good hymn for today's uh, lessons. I forget what the lessons were, actually, um, even though I've been in church twice today. But how good, Lord, to be here, your glory fills the night. Thank you very much, Gregory, for your donation and sponsor. 
Before you play the next one, please could you unlock your iPad for me so I can access the BIS hymnal? Because uh, Benjamin Yao has asked for something that you've played before, so it should be in your hymnal. Okay. How do I search? Oh, yeah, yeah it's there. Perfect. Am I going to play And Can It Be? You are. You certainly are. I should are. gain. From Martin Buckland. There we go. There he is in Canada. I can play that. I can play that. No problem more. A, pro a popular hymn around here? Well, it's um, words by Charles Wesley. The tune is called. Um, Sagina. Sagina, Sagina. And can it be that I should gain an interest in the Saviour's blood? Died he for me who caused his pain, for me who him to death pursued. Amazing love, how can it be that thou, my God, shouldst die for me? What, by the way, would you like me to play for tonight's voluntary later on? I think it would be pretty cool to have a reprise of something that I played last night. Or oh, the Scepter, of course. Not the hardest one. <laughs> or you could have another go at Nimrod and get that accidental right. <laughs> Without the jerking on the stream. Bill Arati says, um, Sagina. Sagina. Rugby Wonders says, in central Pennsylvania, we make donuts uh, on Shrove Tuesday. Donut sounds good. Well, isn't that the same as a pancake? No, not at all. You know, donuts rise, don't they? They're, they're, yes, I know, they're, but it's made mm. of the same things. It's dough, isn't it? Batter. Yeah. Yeah, probably. You can't right, you really see. flip a donut. Rogers Kingston says, how can it be? I reckon donuts have a thicker dough, actually. It's, it's not as runny. Because they wouldn't keep their form, their shape, if it was as runny as a pancake batter. I would love a donut. I'm just going to say you're that. On, you're fasting, so No, luck. not on Sunday. I'm not, not until Tuesday. I mean, <laughs> I mean, now, I'd love a donut. Have you got any? Oh, my God, donuts. Bobby, <laughs> have you got any in your secret stash? <laughs>
That is a great hymn, that. <clears throat> and can it be that I should gain an interest in the Saviour's blood? I'd never heard that hymn before you started doing BIS hymn requests. You have? I'd never heard it Who in my life. Who you used to do to St John's? Never, not, no. I never didn't know it until, I think it was Andantino in the early days requested it. I'd never heard it. Well, yes, they do it a lot at St John's Church. I never sung it. You must have you did. I must have been asleep, I don't remember. <laughs> I used to sing it there, I used to play it. I'm sure we did. I'm sure we did. We didn't, we did not. Nonsense. Ah, come on. Christ, I tell you what, is Christine Hodges still in the chat? Because she will know. Yeah, she's normally knitting or something, so she doesn't chat, but she's listening. We didn't sing it, did we, Christine? We did. We did not. We did. I used to play it. <laughs> so the next, <coughs> excuse me, the next request is for Robert Solaski. Hmm. Leave me, Lord. Oh, no, it's not Auburn called Leave Scepter. me, Lord. Just had a super chat for Auburn Scepter from Tim Carrington. He knows to make you work hard, Richard. <sighs> <laughs> okay, we'll see. We'll see. Um, I, I think we should do it. Be, Basically, be, people want you to play cheeky. the whole recital all over again. Whichever gets the highest uh, sponsored sponsorship. <laughs> Whichever piece then gets Tim the highest be, sponsor. But then Tim will be shortchanged. <laughs> well, no. Maybe now play, you've started play something. Play all again. So oh. what is this? This is, uh, blessed are the poor in spirit, longing for their Lord. For God's coming kingdom shall be theirs. Blessed are are the sorrowing, for they shall be uh, consoled, and the meek shall come to rule the world. And then it's, uh, lead me, Lord, by the light of truth to seek and to find um, the narrow way. You can come and play this desk on if you like. Oh, there's a repeat there. No, not repeat. Not geography. Well, it repeats all the way back. Oh, that's quite a lot of page turns, isn't it? Quite a lot to do in this. Quite a lot to do. So, yeah, you can play that if you like. The, 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 uh, where is it? Where does it start? There. Okay. No, you don't need to. Do you need to? Do I hear whining? Never. Never whining here. You might hear weevils. Yeah, you can play that. Why don't you play that down on the bottom manual? Which? This top line? The tune? Yeah, quick before the children wake up. I'll try. So when it gets to there. Yeah. Okay, well, I don't know what's going to happen here, but. So this is Robert, Robert Salaski who very generously sponsored this and Robert says um, he asked if you were whining I said, I said never never who asked me if I was whining Robert whining I could do with a bit of wine do I hear whining um, at 10 17 p.m. so he says this is not a rousing hymn in in fanfare but rousing in the soul if you can't find it uh, well we found it and he says thrilled with all the music well that's very kind uh, Robert. So let's have a go at this, so see what we can do. It's going to be a bit of a duet and we'll make it up as we go along, I think, as we always do. Let's do this, I think.
the good news is I think we got, I got away with that. The bad news is that Richard McVeigh made a mistake. It was not me, it was Richard. What was me? You made a mistake. I Where came the... in and you were two beats behind. Where? There. You were, like, when we stopped, it was your fault, not mine. Was it? Yes. Yeah. Blame me. <laughs> Probably was my fault. If it was my fault, I saw that bar and I thought it was a normal a full 4-4 four, four bar. But... Well, you should be paying more attention. Although it did take me till the last verse to get one of the rhythms right. So why is <laughs> why is there a double bar line? A bar line midway through the bar? That's Just to keep I... you on your toes. Well, it keep... because it's the, this is the end of the verse. This is the begin beginning of the refrain. I know, but it's confusing, isn't it? So Robert, was that okay? <laughs> I think it was okay. I think we got away with that. I think that was one of our better efforts. <laughs> the lady says, banging and shocked. <laughs> and Richard Allegra says, a folly tune on the organ. Good job. Well, that's um, a folky tune. A folky tune. Not ah, well, yeah, the, the folly. With the folly with that bar of yours. Yeah, folly is that was fine. A folly. Isn't it? it works, doesn't it? <laughs> no folly who here, apart from getting the rhythm wrong twice. Oh dear, we got we did it. It was fine. <laughs> so let's have a look at what else we've got to play. So uh, I think can you just confirm that the request in the ch in the producer chat from um, about. Ben Yao's request. Yes, it's in your hymnal. But let's uh, while we while I find that, if you like, we've we've had the other All Things Bright and Beautiful tune requested. Oh, in memory of a pet week, who we? has passed away. Oh dear. Yes, um, you'll be able to find. I think so. It's this tune this time, but I need to take this to find Ben Yao's. <laughs> So, um, I think it are came we in from date? Bill. But all things bright and beautiful. Her friends John and James that lost their mandolin puppy. She kept them safe from ninjas and random squirrels for 15 years. Ninjas? <laughs> Where are you living? There were ninjas <laughs> knocking around. Bobby, you wouldn't keep us safe from ninjas, would you? <laughs> <laughs> Bobby, you'd run a mile. You've got to keep. You have got to say safe from ninjas. No doubt about that. <laughs> the problem is with ninjas, you can't see them. <laughs> that's the whole point of a ninja, isn't it? You can't see them, they're stealth. They suddenly come from nowhere. Are you sure they, are you sure they ninjas? <laughs> ninjas. <laughs> Teenage mutant ninja turtles. Yeah, but that, that's a bit different. They're not, they're not very stealth. They're just fat and ungainly, aren't they? <laughs> oh, dear. Um, You're right, Bobby. Bobby's debating ninjas. There was something about the tur ninja turtles that... There was something about their nunchucks. They weren't allowed to call them nunchucks in the end, or they were. It's something. Does that ring a bell to anyone? <laughs> it's not going to ring a bell to them, is it? I know. <laughs> Everyone, everyone's heard of the Teenage, teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but it was, there was something about <laughs> their weaponry. Because they liked pizza, didn't they? Well, um, Donatello, well, one of them liked, one of them liked pizza. But the, but the weapons were all nunchucks. But there was something about the nunchucks that they couldn't do. They couldn't call them nunchucks, or they weren't allowed to use nunchucks because of the licensing thing, or so, I th something. I don't know. Someone will. Um, someone will know. I'm sure. And not that I'm not talking complete nonsense. Please just, please back me up, someone. So all things bright and beautiful for John and James. And apparently, it's oh. just a figure of speech. John would have joked about ninjas, so they're not actual ninjas. Let's just clear that up. <laughs> Don't worry, Bobby. Ninjas walking there. around what, with a tie over their head, you know, like you do when you've been out to a party. That's and you, you've gone straight from work and you've got your suit on. And why do the guys always put their tie around their head? That seems like a good idea at the time, isn't it? Like that sort of ninja, you know, a tempinter, tempinter ninja. Oh dear, I think you should just play the hymn now. Well, who's it for? <laughs> I've lost it. I've lost it. It's I've, for the I've, puppy they kept in the safe from ninjas. <laughs> oh, okay. So this is this, this is this is to keep I right. Think lost the so plot. this hymn I don't think is you to should keep puppies Orban's. safe from ninjas. <laughs> right. Okay. I've never thought of doing virtual church. It's in memory of a lost dog. Consider okay. dogs being kept safe from ninjas. Well, no, yeah. the dog kept the owners safe from the ninjas. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> it's okay. been a long day. It's getting, it's getting, <laughs> even, get getting even longer. Get the emojis. It's getting so. even longer. It's, it's all. Oh, I know. That's what I feel like now. Like, what? Mind is, my mind is blown. My mouse has gone off the screen. There we go. Right, let's have a go with all things B and B, as they call it. Oh, I gotta go. You have that.
There we go, all things bright and beautiful to keep. I don't even know why. I, I don't, I, I just don't know why. To keep dogs safe from ninjas or to, to give thanks to dogs for keeping us safe from ninjas, something like that. But I think more importantly than ninjas, uh, Bill Rady requested that one <coughs> in honor of uh, his friends, John and James, who lost their uh, mandolin puppy. That is sad, that is very sad. Um, so all things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small, all things wise and wonderful, the Lord God has made them all. All creatures great and small, that's a great line that isn't it, in fact it's been made into a, obviously a TV series, all creatures great and small. Right, I think I have, oh no I don't, I have the next one, I've been left to fly solo and that's never a good idea. Uh, Benjamin and Brendan's requests are caught, i.e. are, are, Benjamin's requests and you are caught up with him. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> him, him, tune beach spring. Please can you play for Brendan Nolan, Come and Journey. Now where do I find to Come and Journey? Is that in my iPad? I don't know whether it is on my iPad. Is it on my iPad? Come and Journey. I don't think it sounds familiar. I think it sounds familiar. Not there. Oh, I don't know where to find it. Is it in the ELW as someone said? ELW 712. Let's have a look, see if that's the right one. The live section, the live requests section, always is never quite as slick as the pre-requested hymns. Um, we've got the tune here, Beach Spring. Uh, but Brendan wants the words, come and, uh, come and journey. I'm not quite sure what the words are after come and journey. Come and journey with me as we travel for. Um, but importantly, tune is beach spring. And I'm, I guess Brendan will put the, the words in the chat. He's just said, we have had to journey to find the hymn tune. We, are, we have had a journey to find the hymn tune tonight. It might um, be just one of those unique Canadian Catholic settings. Well. It's a nice tune. It's I know it's a well-known tune because we've had it before numerous times. Beach Spring. It always reminds me of just a very a very pretty American seaside city, you know, California or in Malibu or you know these Palm Beach, which we don't tend to have in this country. We've got Scarborough. It's nice. Uh, Bognor Regis. You know that's nice as well. Rill in Wales. You know, these are the top places to go. Uh, anyway, <laughs> Beach Spring.
think we have just one more hymn to get through. Josh, is that correct? And it's um, from our dear friend Benjamin Yao, who would almost certainly be in bed by now because when he was watching at the beginning of the program, it was 4 a.m. <laughs> so if he hasn't gone, and that was two and a half hours ago, and if he hasn't gone to bed yet, then he deserves a medal. But I suspect he will have to watch this back. Okay, right, so it may be at morn, is what he's asked for, when the day is awaking, when sunlight through darkness and shadow is breaking, that Jesus will come in the fullness of glory to receive from the world his own. O oh Lord Jesus, how long, how long ere we shout the glad song? Christ returneth. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, amen. K.A. Fleury says, my cats are enjoying this very much. Well, well at least someone is. <laughs> it, it may be at morn for Benjamin Yao, and I think it may be at morn for Benjamin Yao right now. <laughs> Let's have a go. Let's have a go.
So that was It's Maybe at Morn When the Day is Awaking, requested by uh, Benjamin Yao. Thank you very much, Benjamin, for sending that one uh, through. That, that brings us to the end of the um, requested hymns tonight. Thank you to Bottleman Bob, and who just donated um, during that last hymn. And uh, thank you to anyone else who's donated tonight. Yes, indeed. A huge thank you to everyone who has donated tonight. Um, some really wonderful requests uh, have been sent through. It's been a really wonderful virtual church. Um, good company, as always. So um, the more you keep coming back, the more you request, the more you chat, the better I think virtual church is. So I think it's all about the community. So get involved and make it make it a real special place to be. I'm still laughing about your ninja chat, <coughs> your ninja musings. I should also say that is it. Um, what what was her? I see it as a her. Is it Mary Mouse or Man's Mouse? Man's Mouse. <laughs> I, I, I say it's, I, I assume it's a her. It, uh, there was someone called Mary Mouse. Who's uh, it's a different yeah. person? Man's Mouse uh, did confirm that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles did ban the nunchucks quite oh, early on so they weren't they weren't called nunchucks because they, they were a weapon so that it, they couldn't i think it was to do with the rating of getting getting it to a certain classification yeah so they couldn't use nunchucks they had to use i don't know string or stick sticks sticks on a string i don't know but anyway thank you all for donating if you haven't clicked on the like button yet please do click the like button that would be that would be pretty cool. We've had nearly 2,000 <laughs> views already, and I've got 177 likes. So if you could just make up the difference, if you could, if you click like, let's see if we can get over 200 likes before we finish the um It's 178 the now. Before we finish the stream, that would be really One person listened really to you. Good. Yeah, no, well, that's more than more than normal, to be honest, isn't it? So yeah, just click the like button. The like button that really. If you help. like ninjas, click like. There you go. If you like ninjas, <laughs> click like. That can be our secret code word for <clears throat> tonight, can't it? If um, if you if you want to um, I don't know. So if you want to, I tell you, this would be fun. If you want to leave me a comment on the video, so after I finish the stream, when I've clicked end stream and it finishes and it all stops, if you want to leave a comment on the video, something, something, try and say well, something Scott's about Scott's just ninjas. given us a turtle emoji. <laughs> so it's some, something about ninjas, make, make, me, make me smile about ninjas, because that's just <laughs> such an unexpected an un, uh, turn of events <laughs> virtual church tonight. So leave me a comment about ninjas, anything, make a joke or oh, just say dear. something Bill, about Bill, you'll ninjas. have to tell your friend John what he started with the ninja comment. Exactly. It was just it's, it got completely out of hand, <laughs> as usual here at Virtual <laughs> Church. But I am going to play the um, Benjamin Yao still awake. I can't believe it. What time is it, Benjamin? It must be. He like, just clicked like. He was the one that listened to you. It must be. It must be like eight uh, six a.m. or something where you are. I can't believe you're awake. But it's great to have you with us. I'm going to play a bit of Bach, the Symphonia from Cantata Number Twenty Nine. Are you not playing Orban Scepter? I'm not going to play Orban Scepter because I need to practice it. <laughs> Because I played a mistake or two last night, and I think I'll, I'll, I'll play the same mistakes again. So I apologise for not <laughs> playing, me. playing that one. Here we go. Um, wir danken uh, dir Gott, wir danken.
ninja might have taken over the console once or twice in that performance. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, funnily enough, I think I played it rather better last night, actually. But, but there we go. Yeah, the ninjas got involved today. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to all of your comments on the video about a ninja. I think the, um, ninja the, best, the best comment um, about the ninja will be pinned on, on the video and I'll, um, I'll mention it next week. <laughs> How random. Well, there Apparently, we go. Apparently, um, at this point, we should say thank you very much to Josh Wilson, <laughs> yes, our esteemed producer tonight. Not Josh Palmer, as you may have said earlier. I did. Josh Palmer. Josh Palmer and James Wilson. <laughs> we could just double barrel it. Josh and James Palmer Wilson. Well, that's what, that's what James said earlier in the yeah, chat. Well, actually, what, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so there we go. Thank you very much, everyone, for joining in. Um, I'll need to make sure I have to have a look at this chat to see whether I can fix this, um, the emojis not appearing and it coming up with random text. Oh, no. BAS cool bark, for example. Oh my goodness. Um, it's all go. fine on mine. No, on, on, the, on the actual screen itself it's not. Oh. Um, oh no. It's a, a, new, a new feature that I'm doing. Oh, shocker. It's just not quite, quite right yet. So we'll get there. Thank you all for watching. If you haven't watched the um, organ transcriptions recital that I gave last night, I played that last night um, with one or two fewer mistakes um, and I also played a lot of other very well-known um, transcriptions as well um, so I'd recommend that to you it's very easy listening as in you'll know the music and put it on the headphones on and just enjoy it thank you to everyone who has donated tonight um, very generous we are working towards the music room obviously as you all know by now Bobby's working really hard towards the music room Yes, clearly. Uh, she's working extremely hard. Um, yes, and we'll get there eventually. Uh, but any help is really, really appreciated at this stage. Um, and thank you, as Carol has said, to Josh for helping out with the producing tonight. But more importantly, thank you to you all for joining in, for making uh, Virtual Church what it actually is. It's about the community and it's a wonderful thing of which to be part. So I'll bid you all a good night, you take care, you stay safe, and I'll see you on the next video very soon. Anything else to add? Um, happy Chinese New Year. Happy Chinese New Year. Uh, happy happy Ash Wednesday for Wednesday. Happy Lent, yes, already. Good night everyone, take care and stay safe. From the Goodbye. ninjas. <laughs>